Let's check in on the resistance. Tim Kaine, U.S. must be invested in Afghanistan. Way to go, guys. Way to go. This is, uh, this is how you resist. By 100% agreeing with Republicans and neocons. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Okay, uh, let's get into the article. Senator Tim Kaine says the United States needs to, quote, make sure that Afghanistan is not a breeding ground for things that can come back and hurt us. In other words, if, if we don't fight them over there, we're going to have to fight them over here. Thank you, George W. Kaine. Uh, appearing on MSNBC's Morning Joe uh, Monday in advance of President Donald Trump's primetime speech on Afghanistan, Kaine was asked, what is at stake in the war-torn nation where the United States is in its 16th year of involvement? Quote, I think the answer is we want to be invested, to put it bluntly, said Kane, a Democrat who is a member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. He said U.S. officials should make certain what happens in Afghanistan stays in Afghanistan. Kane says the country needs a discussion of the continuing rationale for being in Afghanistan. So that's lovely. The Democrats are trying to get in on the PR effort to continue the rationale for being there. Like, well, I mean, obviously we have to be there because we just got to be invested. Listen, man, you talk to anybody, any, if you could find anybody who's still in favor of the war in Afghanistan, because you probably won't, um, ask them, hey, define victory for me, and then sit back. Because the answer is going to look something like this. <laughs> There's going to be no... Because nobody... The fuck are they going to say? Well, you got to, like, defeat Al-Qaeda. Already defeated. You got to, like, kill Osama bin Laden. Already dead. You got to, like, you know, make sure that we fight the Taliban. Well, hold on now. The Taliban didn't attack us. It was Al-Qaeda who attacked us. Now, the Taliban was uh, housing Al-Qaeda, but we already got Al-Qaeda out of there. So now the t you're going to say, let's go after the Taliban. But the Taliban's a guerrilla army. You're going to defeat a guerrilla army? That's the same situation as Vietnam. We couldn't do it. So now we're going to defeat a guerrilla army in Afghanistan. Well, guess what? They hold 40% of the country. They hold 40% of the country. So that's probably more than it was when we invaded. So we've lost ground after being there for all this time. So you're never going to defeat them. If you pull out now, or you pull out in 10 years or 50 years, you're just going to have the Taliban take over more of the country then or now. So what are you going to do? Well, let's just, we got to win. But what is winning? You got to win. Uh, we're at the point now where they don't even bother making justifications. You know, look at Iraq. The original argument made was, we got to get Saddam because, you know, he did 9-11. Well, we found out that was bullshit. Then it was, you got to get Saddam because he worked with Al-Qaeda. That was bullshit. You got to get Saddam because he has weapons of mass destruction. That was bullshit. And by the way, also, where's the idea that like, oh, he has them. He's going to use them on us like now. They just assume that part. That part was totally made up. That even if he did have them, what's he going to do? His rinky-dink country is going to launch on us, and he knows what will happen. He wasn't going to do that. <laughs> and then the final argument they made is Saddam's a bad guy who does fucked up stuff to his own people. Yeah, and when he did those fucked up things to the Kurds, he did them with our support. We gave him the weapons. We were on his side. So spare me. Spare me, spare me all these fucking stupid-ass arguments. And we're still there. Saddam's dead. He's been dead for years. We're like, yeah, but we got to stay in Iraq because... They got nothing. They got fucking nothing. We got to stay there because, like, ISIS is there. But us being there in the first place helped create ISIS. So uh, we got to do the thing that created them to defeat them. Uh, there's no fucking logic. And meanwhile, you got massive numbers of civilians dying. You have massive numbers of U.S. soldiers dying. And if you're a fiscal conservative or a deficit hawk, the fuck do you think's happening here? It's a money pit. It is an app. We're just throwing money in, in in these places and getting nothing from it. 
Meanwhile, our infrastructure gets a grade of D+. Flint, Michigan, among other places, don't even have clean water. Half the country makes $30,000 a year or less here in the U.S. What the fuck are we doing? And then now, so you have the Republicans, neocons, you know, hey, let's, yeah, let's invade even more places. You want to start another war? Maybe let's add Iran to the list. Or let's add North Korea. Yeah, we're so tough. Let's waste more money overseas for no goddamn reason and fuck people up. And you have the Democrats, uh, quote, we need to discuss the continuing rationale for being there. So he's in favor of being there. We got to come up with a reason that we could tell the peasants. I think the answer is we want to be invested, to put it bluntly. The trillions of dollars we've wasted isn't invested enough, Tim Kaine? Where's your fucking resistance? Anytime- Oh! Donald Trump said something slightly impolite! I'm so against this, let me wag my finger and do moral condemnation. Oh, he wants to continue a war that we've already been in for 16 fucking years and wasted trillions of dollars and killed many civilians in? Where do I sign up? I'm on his side. What happened to your resistance? Where's your goddamn resistance? And people wonder, the Democrats wonder, why don't people like us? Because in all the areas where you're supposed to fucking oppose him, you're nowhere to be found. And he's a fucking liar because he said, oh, yeah, we're going to get out. And then what happened? He's increased. So Afghanistan, we don't know yet, to be fair to him. There's an outside chance he gets out. Okay. But Syria, Iraq, other interventions we're doing increased him. He got rid of the rules of engagement in Somalia. He's like, yeah, fuck that. We can attack on, you know, first and it doesn't matter fucking being defensive. No, we're going to go into a sovereign nation and just start blowing shit up. This stuff depresses me, man. This stuff depresses me massively. And it's just a sad... Mm. Like, this is where we are. The Democrats are openly like, let's resist on nothing of substance and let's agree on everything we shouldn't agree on. That's where you are, Tim Kaine. <laughs> no wonder you lost to, to somebody who had a 60% unfavorability rating on the day of the election.